muscular injury. I don't know the dimension. And uh, I'm not worried. When a player is injured, play another one. No problem. Do you expect him to be fit for No, the I don't expect. Do you expect Costa to be fit for you? No. Oh, another one? I don't like to speak about injured players. Would, uh, would you be happy for Drogba to start and play 90 minutes at Manchester United? I know he's got it in his head, but you said yesterday he's not fit enough to play 90 minutes. I was not expecting him to play 75. I, I, I spoke with him yesterday and we spoke about 30. But uh, circumstances, he had to come on. And the game went in a direction where he could manage the intensity and he could manage his, his range of movement and he was comfortable to play 75 minutes so in the end was was very very important for Didier because the best thing for a player to improve his condition is to play so very good for him so how would you feel if Didier started up front for you old traffic uh, we won three points we have seven we are happy top of the group <laughs> we played very well. <laughs> Didier scored his, his first goal since coming back. It seemed he gave an interview on TV. It seemed to be a big thing for him. He said it was a big thing for his confidence. The players they like to score goals. Strikers they like to score goals. He was not for a long time on the pitch in previous matches. He just had a start against Schalke. Um, his last goal for Chelsea was the most important goal of uh, the history of this club. <coughs> so to be back and, and to score again at Stamford Bridge is nice for him. Good. He said he asked Aidan if he could have the ball for the penalty. Aidan would have taken it normally, wouldn't he? Yes. You don't mind him asking? I mind. I mind what? You mind that he... That you ask? No, that, that he asked. <laughs> That he swapped takers. They swapped takers, I mean. You want a fair answer, the right answer? Yeah. I don't like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Will that be the last time? Hmm? Will that be the last time? No. They have the freedom to do it. Uh, they can do it. But he has to score. <laughs> so, Jose, what's, what's different about your team this season for you? Than, than last season? What's changed so dramatically? What changed? We are playing well. We are confident. We are solid. We found a good balance. We, we, we have now the players adapted to play the game that we were preparing last last year, the style that we were preparing last year, but we couldn't manage to do it in in a perfect way. And as I was saying, uh, good results and confidence they bring they bring people to their best, and people is is happy and is confident and is enjoying. So today is a good example of that because. 3 nil at half time, many, 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 many occasions. You stop, you just control, you are happy with the points. And they kept enjoying the game and and playing and trying to score and and being happy on the pitch and trying things and they are in a good in a good moment. Is it fair to say that Chelsea is the best well organized team in the Premier League and they use them now? The best what? A very well organized team. You are very organized. You have a very organized team. You scored six goals. However, even your defensive tasks are amazing. Your recovery runs, compactness, everything. You know, we played well, and uh, I told the players before the game the best way to respect um, opponents that, in theory, they are not so good as as you are. They don't have the same potential as you have. In my opinion, the best way to respect them is to play the maximum you can. Is not to play with the second team, is not to play in a funny way, is not to play with lack of concentration. The best way to respect is to play the best possible the best possible way. 
and I think this was a good thing of the team. From minute one till last minute, we try, we tried always to to play and to play well. And even defensively, we respect the opponent. We know the qualities they have. The strikers are good, are good players. The winger are dangerous players. They deserve our respect, and we respect them so much. And because we respect them so much, we manage to have such a solid performance in in both ways, with the ball, without the ball. Jersey, do you, does the manner of this win suggest that Chelsea are in better shape than Manchester United, given even though they've had obviously more rest, more more time to prepare for Sunday's game? I I, I cannot speak about Man United, I can speak about ourselves. Um, we are playing well, we are getting good uh, results. We don't cry on injuries, is our philosophy. We don't cry, we just think that one injury means one opportunity for somebody, for somebody else. And obviously, we cannot hide. We cannot hide that um, in this moment we we have some problems with players that are not available to play, but um, we prepare. We will prepare the game in the the next three days, not tomorrow, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We will prepare the game to try to be at our best possible level against an opponent that obviously we respect very, very much. Jose, you said yesterday to ask you tonight whether you'd seen the Moses. Yet and get your I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <coughs> Amy. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, and and as I was saying, I think it's always better to play <laughs> them when the situation is is good. Uh, Zuma is in a different uh, dimension. Uh, Zuma is ready to play any match, but because I want to give stability to the team, I, I played since day one with Cahill and, and, and John. Uh, Zuma had today uh, a very good opportunity to, uh, to play. Um, happens to him the same thing that happened with me and uh, Rafael Varane. Uh, his debut was also in, in a Champions League game at the same age. Um, and Zuma, we trust, we trust a lot. Uh, Ake is in a different uh, level, but he's in the level of the almost, almost, almost there. And um, Solanke is in the face of uh, the talent that we know that is there, but is 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 far from being there. So for him, it was also a perfect situation. Uh, the legs were tired for sure, even before he came in. Uh, the heartbeat was very high even before the first run, but this was the first time. Something he never, he never forgets, and for sure he is going to play many, many Champions League matches because he will be a very good player. Tomorrow is day off. And the doctor is forbidden to call me to speak me about injuries, <laughs> and I I don't want to know about injuries. Man United, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Yes, sir. Thursday. Does Maribor say that you're among favourites for this competition? Do you see yourselves as that? And also, how satisfying was it to beat Clean Sheet with them getting a penalty and missing the usual? You know, we are in the group phase. We play three matches. Uh, to be in the final, you have to play 12 and qualify for the final. Long, long way to go. I think it's premature to speak about about that. Uh, we are not even qualified for the for the um, the next phase. So, step by step. First objective is to qualify, second objective is to finish first in the group. So let's go step <coughs> step by step. Didier, when, uh, sorry, Didier. Jose, when you went and got Didier back this summer, um, there, there were loads of strikers in Europe you could have gone for, and yet you went for Didier at age 36. 
why why did you do that when there must have been other other choices? Yeah, we made a big investment on on Diego, yeah. which is a player age twenty five, so six, seven, eight, ten years to play to play here. And did you bring us lots of things a part of uh of being still a, a good player so we kept that that balance after that when nando went to to milan we had to make a decision and remy was in our opinion a good decision because he's a good player also in a good in a good age also a player that can play also from the sides like he does in in the national team many times playing from the right and from the left giving us another another option so we think we did a we did a good job by having these three strikers for the season. Okay, I can do two more. Yes, sir. Nothing. Nothing. I just give him a, a little touch. I know him for a long time. I met him in in New York a few years ago. Uh, I'm a friend of his father for a long, long time. Um, just a little touch. I wish him without words i wish him good uh, good experience for him at this age to play in the champions league is a fantastic experience for him he's going to be a, a very good player obviously very very young but to play at this level is the best thing that that can happen to him uh, last question i don't expect you to admit it but you've probably got one foot now in the last 16. if you go on winning marabou you've probably wrapped up your place in the last 16. Did you, did you want to do that venue as early as possible I think we'll mean always. We'll mean always because, uh, first of all, we have to win at Maribor. In football, no ifs. And uh, the result today doesn't mean that we are going to win at Maribor. After that, we go to Chalke, and Chalke got a point here, and they are in a good situation to discuss even the first position. Uh, Sporting is a good team. Uh, they lost today because they play with 10 men for about for about one hour. So I think this is going to, to, to finish uh, is going to finish in the, in the end. We want to try to qualify before, obviously yes. But to finish first I think is, is a fight that we will need for sure the last two matches for that. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.